the corn over the food. We're going to use a fence so we can hit. Probably need to bring the balls. Ask him if he needs the balls and the gloves. Anybody need a glove? That forgot there. Do you need a glove? This is going to be interesting. Well, I mean, he has to teach a true beginner. It's easy to. I'm a true beginner. Wait till she starts teaching blocking and you start teaching. My kind of big, though. I got man hands. Well, then use one of the older ones because they're bigger. The new ones are little kids' ones. Look, they can probably share in your group, too. Okay, come on, let's go. I'm missing the, my video. Over to the fence. Over to the fence. We're important. You can just come up this time. Oh, this is a left hand. Quick, quick, quick. Run, 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 run. run. Does it matter if it's left hand or not? Time is going to be earlier, so you can get ahead. So basically, you're going to hit the inside pitch right here. If I'm, my stance is here. If it's down the middle, so it'll be about here. And if it's an outside pitch, me being left-handed, that's my outside. Your time is going to be a little bit late. So that's that's your hitting zones. Inside pitch, you're going to start everything early. Middle, a little bit in the middle. Outside, you're going to start everything later. If it is outside, you want to hit it to the opposite field. If you do start late with an outside pitch and swing, you're probably going to roll over and it's going to be a weak ground ball. You don't want that. All right. So back to your stance. We'll take turns. We don't have enough bats. But getting your partners, and we're going to start. It's called an A-frame. You want your knuckles, these knuckles here, to line up. You want to be relaxed, so try that. Hurry up, try it. A frame, loose fingers, loose fingers. Just like in boxing, you don't want to have a closed fist. One of you hit, it's going to take that power away. So you loose fingers, loose hands, and that's how you grip the bat. Stride. Your lead leg here is your stride leg. When you stride, you don't want to come out front because you're going to be off balance. Just like anything else athletic, you got to have an athletic base position. So when we stride, you still want the athletic base. Notice my head is not moving or the center of my body is not moving. The only thing moving is my lead leg. And when you do, when you do step, when you do stride, you want to be on the balls of your feet, your toes. Because once you commit to the pitch, that is when your, your back side of your body is going to push through. So stride up on your toes. Everybody practice that. Keep your head straight, your body straight. The only thing is just stride. Get up on your toes. Okay? So you, you want know, them to pretend like they're holding the bat? Right. Everybody okay. pretend or somebody try then we can switch. So everybody, get up. And you just stride on your toes. Do it again. Right. And like I said, when you commit to the pitch, 
is when you put that heel down. When you put that heel down, <coughs> your backside is going to come up. Boom. Try to drive that knee to where the pitch is. So if it's an outside pitch, I'm going to stride, boom. I'm going to bring that knee in this direction here because it's an outside pitch. If it's an inside pitch, I'm going to bring it more in like that. Everybody try. So everybody, every group take three baseballs and line them up just like I did. We don't have that many plates, so do that. We've got other things that can be used as their light. We just need another ball. <laughs> I mean, you could even use a glove for a plate. It don't really matter. Right. Just your visual aid. You're just going to go over here. You'll be hitting into the fence, not over the fence if you don't mind. Right hand. You left it It's practical stride. And your back, your back side. Try your back side. Practice each on one. Practice Somebody can have this first, one. The middle pitch and the outside pitch. Y'all can come over here. Alright, remember, keep, keep your knuckles at the A frame. This let you see the A in my arm. Set the, keep your knuckles, keep them loose. Can our soccer Try. coach play softball? Try. I bet Taylor's a softball girl. Huh? You a softball girl? I was when I was younger. In hitting. Baseball's a little different. Huh? Yeah. 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 Daddy made me. So you stride. Your hips are gonna go through first, and then your hands are gonna catch up. Your hands are faster than your hips. So you're gonna stride. Then come swing. Stride. Don't don't move your hands. Keep your hands up. And then stride and stay. Everybody do that. Keep your hands up. Stride and stay. Don't move anything else. All you're moving is your lower body right now. Alright. Swing in the bag. If you have a bag, get one hand. So, I'm left-handed. Get your your front arm to the back. So if you're right-handed, it's going to be your left hand. Put your hand. Take this, choke up a little bit, and then do everything I said with your bottom half. Get your back, your hips through, and then kind of jab. So if you see it, I'm kind of jabbing like this. That's what your top hand is going to go through. You always want to stay inside the baseball. That's going to help. Uh, Brent, everybody come on this side and face the fence. They're, they're not turning it around in their head because you're left-handed. Get out there and pretend you're right-handed and make them do it with you. Because they're, they're, they're not like getting it. <laughs> they look like a little bunch of little lost sheep. Yeah. And that's going to help you keep me inside of the baseball. What I mean inside of the baseball. Is when I swing, you want it to hit right here instead of out here. Because if you roll over, you just gonna have a little weak, weak, weak ball in the field. You don't want that. 
So if it's an outside pitch, coming through, I'm keeping my hands inside of the ball, inside of the baseball. And when I make contact, it's going to look like this. It's going to go to right field. I'm a bad teacher. Turn around and face the field. Yeah, now go do it from the right side. Yes. Like so they can, they can copy you. Because they they can't turn it. If they've never played baseball, they can't turn it in their head. You know? Now mimic what he's doing. Okay? Mimic him. Go through the motions without the ball. Now, your back arm is going to come through your chest. So this elbow is just staying close to my body. That's, it's going to help stay inside the baseball. Try that in. When you get, try to get your elbow close to your body. And now we can put it all together with both hands. And if you don't use a glove as a plate. If you knock it over the fence, you gotta go chase it down. You have to you can back up a little bit. <coughs> Everything's back me. <laughs> I didn't see that. Stuff happens. Hey, look at that skill. See, she's good with her hands and her feet. Even our cyclist is a good baseball player, huh? Whoops, somebody's gonna go chase the ball. Yes, you're not standing in a good place, are you? Yeah. See how everything went left on me? That's because it's an outside pitch. He's throwing it towards my knee, so I have to go with the pitch. You never, if it's an outside pitch, as a left-handed, you never want to hit the right. Bend your knees. Because you're going to roll over. Look. You are on camera. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Still. You're not going to have an athletic base like this, correct? No, so stay, stay in, and then when you commit, then you transfer over. So stride, keep that toe, toe in line with your other toe. You don't want it at a 45 or anything else, okay? 
work on that. Switching teachers.